welcome to the trauma treatment collective vlog today we're going to be talking about how to create a container in trauma treatment when we think about treating trauma re-traumatization is basically the idea of a client reliving their traumatic experience while in the therapy session so when you're thinking about re-traumatization and trying to work with clients to make sure that they don't have re-traumatization while processing or working through their trauma you want to create a container or what we call a holding environment for the client a container is basically the idea that you are creating a safe environment for that client through relationship as well as through skill development to help that client stay regulated or to work towards regulation if they become dysregulated a lot of times when you're thinking about trauma it's too much too fast too soon whatever that activation is it's coming too fast too much and too soon and so when you're thinking about activation and you're thinking about re-traumatizing a client we're trying to create a container that allows them to be able to hold the activation while also working with being stabilized and being connected to stabilization so my personal experience has been learning to create a container or learning to help clients create a a container in the trauma treatment process has been vital to the success of my clients being able to process their trauma in a healthy and safe way i'm going to talk about three things you can do to help your client create a container one is helping clients to build strong resources when you're thinking about helping clients build strong resources you want to have them practice those resources these are also known as coping skills and you want to have them practice them over and over and over again before you move into processing trauma the second thing you want to do is teach the clients to notice the states of activation while also being able to be connected to that stabilization so if they're talking about something that's causing them to get a little activated you want to be able to help them to notice that but then to be able to move out of that into a more uh, resource place so I'm talking about something that's really hard for me and then I'm able to also connect with something that's pleasant in the room maybe visually or I'm able to do a little bit of grounding and then I'm able to go back to talking about that thing that's hard this is helping them to notice that they have flexibility in their system and so once you build those coping resources you want to help clients to be able to move between activating stuff as well as then to move also um, back to coping skills and to feel that state of stability the last thing you want to do is maintain your own regulation in the trauma treatment process you want to be able to be um, a source of regulation for the client so that their mirror neurons are bouncing off of your regulation and that's also helping them to stay more regulated so once you're able to work on these three things and build a container in trauma treatment it's going to be much easier to help a client to move through the process in a safe way so you can avoid re-traumatization hopefully that's helpful for you and uh, you can use those skills and have a great day. Bye-bye.